Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of icy frozen text from scratch. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press the letter D. If the colors are inverted, press the letter X. Let's fill our background with black by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. Call up your horizontal type tool and click on the character text box. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. Choose a font. I'm using Lee Gothic, which you can download for free at fontsquirrel.com. Click on the color box and choose White. Type out your text. To move it, call up your Move tool click on the text and move it. We can close the character window now. Let's merge these two layers by pressing Ctrl or Command plus E. Go to Filter, Pixelate and Crystallize. I'll make the cell size 5. Depending on the size of your text you may want to use a different number. Open your Channels panel and click on the icon in the lower left. This will make a selection of all the tonal values of your image. Go to Select and Save Selection. We'll name it Text. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Image and Image Rotation. Choose 90 degrees clockwise. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Wind. The method is Wind and the direction is from the right. Click OK. These will eventually be our icicles. To lengthen them, press Ctrl or Command plus F twice. Go to Image, Image Rotation, and choose 90 degrees counterclockwise. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Crystallize. This time, we'll choose a cell size of 3. Open your Channels tab and click on the icon in the lower left to make a selection. Open back up your Layers panel and click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Let's fill the selection with white by pressing Ctrl or Command plus Delete. To get rid of the selection, press Ctrl or Command plus D. Go to the New Layer icon and press Ctrl or Command as you click on it. This makes a new layer directly below the active layer. Make sure your foreground color is black and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the empty layer with the color. Make your cutout word active and click on the FX icon. Choose Inner Glow. Make the blend mode dissolve and click on the color box. I'll choose an icy blue color, 74C7FB. I'll make the choke 14% and the size 10 pixels. Again, depending on the size of your text, you may want to change these numbers. Let's change the background to a cold gradient. Make your black background active and call up your gradient tool. Choose Linear Gradient and click on the gradient box. Click on the foreground to background thumbnail and click on the lower left stop. Click on the color box and I'll type in 1F69AE. Click on the lower right box, click the color, and choose black. Click below the bar in the middle to make a third stop. Type in 50% for the location, which places it directly in the middle. Click on the color box, and I'll type in 0E2238. Close your color windows, and place your cursor at the bottom of your document. Press Shift and drag a line all the way to the top and release. Let's make a composite snapshot and place it on its own layer. Click on the top layer and press Ctrl Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Open the Channels panel and go to the channel of the text that we made before we added the icicles. Press Ctrl or Command to make it into a selection. Open the Layers panel and click on the Layer Mask icon. Click off the chain link between the layer and its layer mask. This will allow us to move or effect either one independently of the other. Click on the layer to make it active and go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur the layer by one pixel. Now go to Filter, 
Pixelate and Crystallize. We'll make the cell size 4 pixels. Click on the layer mask to make it active and press Ctrl or Command to make it into a selection. Click on the layer to make it active and press Ctrl or Command plus J to cut the selection from the image and copy it to its own layer. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and choose Plastic Wrap. We'll use 6 for Highlight Strength, 1 for Detail, and 4 for Smoothness. Click on the Adjustment Layer icon and choose Hue Saturation. Click on this Clipping Mask icon. It makes the Adjustment Layer affect only the one layer beneath it. Check the Colorize box and make the Hue 199 and the Saturation 50. Using these relatively simple techniques, you can make any text look icy and frozen stiff. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.